Hey guys, it's Andrew here from Simio Apps, and in this tutorial I'm going to explain protocols in an easy way in Swift. So what are protocols exactly? They're essentially a set of rules, or blueprints if you rule, that can then be applied to a class, structure, or enumeration in Swift. It can be a different way of developing your apps versus the standard object inheritance of classes. There's a concept known as protocol programming. So I'm going to look at what a protocol is, show you some examples of protocols working. So let's just jump into the code. That's the easiest way to actually show it to you guys. Okay, so first of all, we want to go file, new file, and create a new empty Swift file. And we're going to call it pet protocol. And in this pet protocol, we'll change the import UI kit and we'll do protocol and the protocol is going to be named pet. And for the protocol requirements, we're going to create their name as a string. You're going to be able to get this, their age as an int, and you can get and set this their legs as an int and you're going to be able to get and set this and finally a function called make sound and with the function you just want to close it off with the curvy brackets here the parenthesis you don't actually need anything else and if you wonder what get and setters do that's shown in my previous tutorial which i'll link in the description below so now this protocol has been made. It's essentially a blueprint for a set of rules we are going to apply to our view controller class. So what this essentially means is if we apply it to our view controller class, that class must have a variable called name, age, and legs, and a function called make sound. So if we go to view controller, and after UI view controller, we add the pet in there, which is our pet protocol. You'll notice it comes up with an error type view controller does not confirm to protocol pet. And that's because it's not confirming to the rules here. We need to add these variables and the function to our view controller to confirm to that protocol. So we'll do let name string equals Fido. Their age of an int equals 20. Their legs as an integer equals four and we'll call create a function in here called function make sound and we'll print out wolf and now what you'll notice is that error goes away once we confirm to the rules of our pet protocol so in view did load, we'll do age plus equals one to say Fido is now 21 years old, which is quite good for a dog. And we'll do print name backslash brackets name is age years old and has slash legs legs. Now let's run that app. And what we'll see here is it prints out to the console, Fido is 21 years old and has four legs. All right, now you can see our app running here and it prints out Fido is 21 years old and has four legs to the console. So that's all working correctly. And this is all a result because of our pet protocol. We have to have a name, age and legs in this class. So this print statement is always going to work because it's going to force these variables to exist and to be populated. Now imagine if we want to give clothing to our pets, such as sunglasses and the type of clothing they're wearing. With protocol-based programming, we can give a class multiple protocols. So let's check it out. Okay, we're going to go to pet protocol and add a new one in here called protocol clothing. And in this requirement, we're going to add two requirements. First of all, one is their sunglasses as uh, a string. 
we can get and set this or their type as string we can get and set this now if I go back to view controller I can add clothing also to this as a protocol and then that will require me to add the sunglasses and the type so if I go clean and build you'll notice this class comes up with errors now because it doesn't comply to the clothing protocol so we need to add their sunglasses and that's going to equal ray bands and finally we're going to do their type and we'll do as a string and that's going to eat casual and now if we build this this error is going to go away because it complies to the clothing and pet protocol now so in a nutshell protocols is a different way of programming some inbuilt Swift classes actually use them such as table view data source and table view delegate. The differences are shown here. Essentially, a class is using object inheritance. Classes can inherit other classes, values and functionalities. Protocols are more of a blueprint and a set of rules that can be applied to classes and also enums and structures. A protocol can be applied to one or more class and a class can have one or more protocols. It's a different way of programming. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. So if you're developing a complex app, have a think about it. Protocols might be useful for you. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials in the future. And you can download the source code for this app below.